Hello everybody and welcome to Exploration Gaming, the channel that has something for everyone. I'm Marco and today we're going to look at some of the options for making tons of gold while we're doing other useful things. Now I know you love hearing strategies for filling up your gold vault in the Elder Scrolls Online, so do me a solid and subscribe right now. It's completely free and it will help keep this little channel going. A like and a comment would also be appreciated. Now let's get into it. So you've been getting extremely rich playing TOT, the new High Isle card game. But I thought you might like to hear some other ways to have fun and make gold, even if they are less exciting than that card game. Here's a bit of advice from the Bob Ross of ESO. Whenever possible, try to accomplish two goals simultaneously in the game. Recently I got it into my head that I needed the Bat Kitty for my non-combat pet collection. It seemed rational at the time. Little did I know. The Big Eared Ginger Kitten Pet is a massive grind that you can do by combining the seven Ginger Kitten Rune Box fragments found in Karn Waston Public Dungeon, which is in Northern Somerset. The seven pieces can fall from any mob, and they are a rare drop. Truly. Rare. Grind, grind, grind. But here's the thing. You probably get the same piece twice during your sentence here in the Dungeon Grind Adventure. Sometimes you'll end up with several repeat pieces, and they sell like hotcakes. 20 to 60,000 gold each. I sold two within 24 hours of putting them up on Guild Traders. Maybe you don't even want the kitty. Selling kitty parts is a decent way to make a living. But while you're grinding for them, you're also earning valuable experience, extra CP, and my advice is to pull out a new companion like Ember and level her up while you're at it. And by the way, companion gear drops fairly often in this dungeon as well. And just so you know, I got my kitten pet. Meow. Before I give you our second location, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming every day and hopefully we'll have some great rewards for you loyal folks coming in to chat with me very soon. Next on the list, some very similar gold digging can be done in Vardenfell, in the Forgotten Waste Dungeon. I want to thank Selena, an amazing fan of the channel, for giving me the heads up on this one. Here we're farming seven fragments to the six house robe. It really should be six fragments, don't you think? But oh well. I received my first fragment here in only 11 minutes. Once again, any mob can drop a part of the rune box, but bosses seem to be more generous. There are also chests and heavy sacks to find and open, as well as war maiden gear, which can still sell for decent gold. Both dungeons offer terrific XP, and characters that have a handy AoE spell or two are more effective for this sort of large mob farming. So level a new companion, grind some CP, and farm for those rare drops. They sell quickly, and this is honestly one of the best ways to refill your wallet after a hard day of playing cards. I hope you found this useful. Please let me know how you like to grind for gold in the comment section below. So until next time, I'm Marco. Have fun, be kind, and keep exploring.